Let's begin a new week together here on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thanks so much for stopping in here on Monday, September 18th. And we have a Scorpio moon to get things going. I thought maybe that we would take a look today instead of like these aspects that are just really here and there right now because of the configuration of the planets, is let's talk about the themes of the week, too. And to begin this week, we really have to mention the benefic square yesterday because the two great benefics, Jupiter and Venus, squared. That happened at 2 a.m. Eastern, but did you have anything related to that come up for you? That was there, of course, several days before that as well. Certainly a contributor probably to that big drop in the markets on Friday. But then this morning, the moon changed signs. Scorpio, that's already done. That happened at 1 o'clock this morning, Eastern Time. But some big energy that you're going to be feeling all day today is the sun opposes Neptune tomorrow. And that's at 7.17 in the morning, Eastern. I did a video over the weekend on the Russell Brand situation. Have you been following that? My buddy Chet was in town over the weekend, and Chet does all the videos. All the video stuff that you see on YouTube is Chet. <laughs> yeah, Chet needs a hand. I mean, that is such a huge assistance and just handles it. But he was in town over the weekend, and we were talking about doing more of these YouTube videos. So I kicked it off with the, rest, with the story du jour. I was like, well, what's going on in the news right now? He follows it more than I do a wee little bit. I told him, I said, you know, I'm not going to know who these people are. <laughs> I just don't follow it. I never have. Well, he says Russell Brand is in the news. I said, who's Russell Brand? <laughs> okay. But here are these allegations coming out of some very serious stuff. And, of course, the offset is, is he being framed? Well, that is so Neptunian. And when I looked at it and picked the best time of when most looks of the news stories started to come out Saturday morning, my time, was Neptune was up in the 10th house in Pisces. This is a little bit interesting, too, because we don't have an exact birth time on Russell Brand. So I just cast a sun on first, or a solar chart, and that had Gemini rising, so it put Pisces up at the cusp of the 10th house, at least in the equal house system. And the equal house on stuff like this, Robert has so convinced me, did a horary question for somebody over the weekend. They ordered a horary about continuing to work, and it worked. <laughs> and uh, another person wrote in last week about a horary last week and said thank you it she got her answer right as the chart said it would that's all with the equal house system and neptune being up there in the area of his public identity and we'll see is this for real or is it a manufactured attack time will tell so here we have a Scorpio moon, and we have the sun opposite Neptune tomorrow. So that is this kind of energy. You're going to be feeling this pull of the Neptunian things, the illusion, the confusion, maybe mixed in with some delusion. And I would say thematic for the week because we're hitting these aspects. And yes, it will start to obviously tail off to wane after tomorrow. But I think that these themes that we're seeing at the beginning of the week are going to be things that are going to hold a little bit longer. And one of the reasons is because really we're turning the page on September a little bit early. We really need to start bringing these eclipses into the conversation. October 14th and 28th, but we are definitely in the applying phase of these now. Midweek, well, on Thursday morning early, so right after midnight, the sun trines Pluto. There's another theme of the week. So we have these two solar aspects. Our suns are hitting Neptune and Pluto this week. You could obviously say, look for some changes. And both Pluto and Neptune are obviously still in retrograde. And we'll throw one other theme on because it is this coming weekend, but two aspects involving Chiron. So see, you're getting a theme here, right? You've got a picture that this week we're going to be dealing with some of our stuff, some of our wounds, some of our karma. There is some potential for change, and that's I like that Pluto aspect right there, if you're on the right side of it. Because if you are, then there is this pivot point. It is a trine. So if stuff comes up, Scorpio moon, Neptune, run it through the filter. And I'm going to tell you about the nodes here in just a second, too. But run it through the filter of the karmic path, especially those wounds that might be too familiar. 
realize that we have the potential to transform and we have a lot of strength in that area because it is a trine it's working with us so use it to that advantage in other words make the changes set the intentions take the actions toward and then you'll be working with the energies so not to fear stuff coming up for the collective I have no idea I am so in the just observe and don't interpret mode but I did see this over the weekend on Twitter if you follow any astrology or financial market stuff on there you might have run across crypto Domus. he puts astrology and crypto together his name is Robert Weinstein but he has a popular following on Twitter and put a great post up specifically when Mars conjoins the south node of the moon the market drops well Mars will conjoin the south node in Libra October 4th at about high noon at least East Coast market trading time now I went back and looked at previous times obviously you know I did that the last of these was December 2021 that was 21 days before the big market top in on January 5th 2022 that led to a 30 percent drop the one before that was in Capricorn February of 2020 and that was just a few days before the March crash from COVID that was a 36 percent drop the one before that and this is the last one we'll do was Aquarius in 2018 and that was about a week before a 20 percent drop but the last time this happened in Libra was October 12th 1987 it happened in the early degrees of Libra but October 12th one week later October 19th was when the market dropped 22 and a half percent in one day now of course that was before all the circuit breakers and whatnot that we have in place today but that one was actually what four days before the drop started because that Friday the 16th the market also dropped five percent that day so the last time we had this same configuration the hammer fell fell hard not saying it will this time but just saying keep an eye on that and of course we have a couple of weeks until then and then it always seemed to be a precursor by a few days so by this we would be putting it right up there around the time of the eclipse and that's why we need to start bringing that into our conversation and our awareness all right you guys have a great week transformation theme this week we'll see you tomorrow